hi guys welcome back to my channel this is the life project with a fiance my name is a fiance i am a project manager and an interior designer all right guys so in this video um it's sort of a continuation of last week's video i'm talking about the sl project um it's a lounge project that i had towards the end of last year 2022 and it was under some tight <laughs> deadlines and um yeah i had to get it right so i just want to walk you through um what the next steps were after the first meeting you know the first meeting was basically um just understanding what the client wanted and stuff like that you know in this video i'm going to be talking about the things that i also had to consider as um an interior designer and a project manager to be able to complete this project okay so now the first thing was the aesthetics okay now the reason aesthetics is important to me is one i'm an interior designer so obviously it's one of the main things that we care about but another thing is it has to tie into functionality so i can have an idea of what the function of the space is going to be or the function functions of the various spaces will be but if I don't know what the aesthetics are going to look like as well, I may, I may finish the project. The space will be very functional, but you still may not enjoy it or may not have the experience that you're looking for. Now, if you've been following me on this channel, you know I talk about experiencing a space a lot. Um, so with this project, I wanted to understand what the clients wanted their customers to experience in this lounge. You know, when you come in, what do you want them to feel? When they leave, what do you want them to feel? What do you want their experience to be? Why should they even come here? Why should they leave their homes and come here? Why should they come here versus go somewhere else? You know, it's a whole cycle of things that that um, need to come together to make this possible. So I had the clients send me pictures. Now, the reason I do this is because sometimes people think they don't know what they want. But it's not true. Everyone has a personality and a character. That means everyone has a taste and a style, right? Some people may be more flexible than others, but generally, everyone has something that they are drawn to. So I've had clients call me and say, um, you know, I, I don't want a very busy space. I don't want to see a lot of gold and this and that. And that's that client's, pers you know, personality showing. You know, they want something minimal. They want to walk into a space and feel like there's a lot of space in it. They don't want to see a lot of furniture. They want to see minimal furniture. You know, someone else wants to see a lot of lights. Someone wants to see a lot of dim lights because that's just the experience that they're looking for. All these things, when you, when, um, explore, when you explore a bit more, you understand that these things are drawn from our personalities and our, our characters okay so for an assignment i do with most clients most 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 clients is i'll have you send me pictures okay you might have a pin board somewhere or maybe you don't maybe it has never even crossed your mind to look at pictures but go online see what um is close enough to what you like the kind of things you like you know, and I always tell clients, don't think about cost when it comes to this. Just pick pictures, you know. And in those pictures, what will help you is to look for elements within those pictures that you are drawn to, right? So these are some of the pictures that this client shared with me. Um, and then I have to take from the pictures and then come back to you and say, hey, is this close enough to what you are going for, you know? And then after a couple of revisions, we finally conclude on the direction that we are going and now it's time to tie it into functionality and make it happen okay so with this project the clients most of the pictures the clients shared with me had a lot of plants you know i saw a lot of gardening and things like that so it showed sort of like the outdoors um reflecting on indoors you know so that was something i had to keep in mind this client is going to want to see a lot of plants in their space um, I saw a lot of wood, a lot of natural materials. So I knew that that was something that the client would appreciate seeing in their space as well. 
now there were a lot of light colors to also um bring the elegance and the classiness in okay so even though um there were a lot of plants and things you don't want it to feel like you're in a bush somewhere or you know for a restaurant a high-end restaurant experience you don't want to feel like you are at um Kakum Park if you are in Ghana you know Kakum Park <laughs> you know that's not the experience you are looking for you are looking for something more elegant in today's terms we'll say more bougie you know so for that bougie feel we needed to bring some really light colors to come kind of tie in all the plants and the um natural materials the woods and all of those things now another thing that i also took from this was, was lights you know a lot of lights a lot of most of the pictures the client showed me had a lot of wood a lot of plants a lot of white and a lot of light right so it was now time for me to take this information and do something with it now the Okay, so now some of the key things that I also understood that the client was looking for was some sort of privacy in certain areas, but still wanted to have some inclusion. So you're in a private little space, but you're still included in whatever is going on, right? So I knew that they wanted to be able to accommodate a live band. Now, they also wanted cabanas. Usually with cabanas, people have their own privacy. It could be a couple on a date. It could be a group of girls you know, who have gone, they want to have their own private time, or it could just be a small group that wants to have their own little space within a bigger space, you know. But we still wanted them to feel included in whatever was going on. So I needed to keep that in mind. Then the washrooms was another thing that was very key for the clients. She really wanted the washrooms to be really nice, you know. And that's because these days, a lot of people are always doing reels, taking pictures, and posting them you know so and it's also become sort of like a marketing tool so there are some popular restaurants that if you think about you see so many people taking pictures there and posting them you know and it's just a washroom but it still has some kind of branding that lets you know that this is the restaurant that the person is at okay so it's also become a marketing tool for your space to be really nice so that i had to come up with a cool design for the girls washroom um the other space was and i say girls washroom because i don't think i've seen a guy take a picture <laughs> in a washroom to post before correct me if i'm wrong but it's usually 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 the ladies room you know they have a lot of mirrors in there there's always a statement piece that they want to show off you know so they pose there take those pictures and post them so um the females washroom was very important um to this project and then the other one was a commercial kitchen now if it's going to be a lounge a restaurant type setting your commercial kitchen has to be good now apart from it looking good um you want it to be very very functional and also in ghana we have to go by um fda approval right so there are certain fda requirements um FDA, what does FDA stand for? Food and Drugs Board Association, I think. Yeah, I think it's Food and Drugs Board Association. You know, they have a, um, a number of requirements that a commercial kitchen is supposed to have. You know, so you can't do the same type of kitchen you would do. Yeah, you know, the domestic kitchen you have at home with the wood, the wooden cabinets and all of those things. You know, for a commercial kitchen like that, you are supposed to use, you know, stainless steel um equipment and all of those things appliances and stuff so um that's something to keep in mind if you are here because you need ideas for your own restaurant now yeah now the next thing that was important was functionality okay so how the kitchen functioned how the bar functioned um where the pergolas were and the um the pergolas and the cabanas, you know, there was an area where the two come together. Because there were two separate projects or two separate um, units, I had to come up with a way that the rain would not interrupt the cabanas or the pergola area. So I had to come up with, like, think of a rain gutter, a type of rain gutter that was going to sort of 
secure it from the rain or not ruin that space. The other thing was the pergola extension. Once again, functionality, we had to think about rain. Even though it's an outdoor space, we were creating an indoor experience. And we wanted people to still be able to be outdoor and not be worried about things like the rain and the weather and stuff like the heat and things. So we had to come up with an idea for that. And the best thing was to come up with some sort of pergola extension, you know. Now, the next thing was they needed a staff area. I think that's also part of the regulations for having a restaurant in Ghana. You're supposed to have an, a ch changing areas for your staff. Okay, so that was another thing that we had to keep in mind. And then the pavement, you know, understanding that there were going to be women coming there wearing heels. We had to think about what we were using on the grounds, you know, for them to enjoy coming there. You don't want to come there to a space where every time you come in heels, your heels get ruined before you leave. So that was another thing we had to think about. So concluding on all these things with the clients is what helped us to understand what the next stages were okay so now we've understood all these things we need to come up with a design so what is the design right so um i had to put together a 2 and 3d design for the client to be able to visualize where we were going with the project um sometimes just floor plans can be difficult for a client to understand so what we, we had to do was to first do an aerial view of what the whole space was going to look like. Okay, so we needed to know, okay, this is where the kitchen is going to be. This is where the cabanas and the pergolas are going to be. This is where the bar is going to be. You know, understand everything in relation to each other and still incorporate our aesthetics in here. Okay, so if you look at this, you see that we had a lot of plants inside the cabanas, like hanging up the pergolas. We had some fabric work to soften the space a bit so even though it's outside there's still a sense of elegance classiness you know bougie because we wanted to kind of tone down the the woodsy feel right now um so here we and we had our washrooms and because we didn't want the washrooms to sort of be in the way of the actual restaurants we had to come up with you know some nice partitions to separate the washroom staff areas from the rest of the restaurants now landscaping was very 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 important you know so sometimes when you see me um working with certain vendors is because i want things to be done a certain way right so if you are a vendor and you do any of the things i've mentioned you know reach out to me let's see how we could somehow work only if your, th your work is good <laughs> if you are not sure about your work please don't call me but um yeah i had to get you know the best of the best working on this so i got some really good landscapers um got some good woodwork my woodwork team is brilliant absolutely amazing you know so we were able to do a good job with the bar and um extending the pergolas so with this the client saw this and immediately loved it you know i think some of the little changes we made were extending the kitchen because we realized that inside the kitchen was a little bit tight so we had to work on this a bit right yeah so this is what the extension looked like and funny enough with the logo they did not have a logo so we sort of were playing around with different things and we just put something on the architectural drawing and later on the client was like i'm in love with this logo can we keep it <laughs> You know, so, I mean, I guess that's something that has become part of what we do. Um, yeah, and we tried to get the, these exact plants. You know, we got our planters looking like this. We had to tile them and all. So, um, yeah, so th this is basically where we got to with the clients, to be able to show the clients what we were going to give them, understanding where the lights were going to be, where there was going to be lights, you know, what the chairs the seating was going to look like and this was based on some of the seating that they already had because they had purchased certain things before we came on the project okay we understood where the live band was going to be there's a container here with a bar and a vip lounge so we had to make the container look like the rest of the space you know so that meant we had to do some wooden cladding to make it look 
really nice. Okay, so this was our cabana. So the idea we had for the cabana, you know, so we wanted to have some nice writings on the wall and stuff. So we did this. We had the greenery. We had the um, neon lighting, which said different things in each cabana. We had some warm lights, you know, surrounding the space. And then we had our fabric work to give us the sense of privacy, but still tone down and give us some classy bougie right? Yeah, and then the washroom areas too, we were able to include some nice writings on the wall. Who runs the world? Girls. <laughs> we had that on the wall as well, which everyone finds exciting. A lot of mirrors, plants in there. So, yeah, that's basically it for the idea. The idea is a bit of, you know, what we have to do. It usually comes together nicely once we are able to do some 3D drawings. Now, don't get me wrong. Every project doesn't necessarily need 3D drawings. However, it's always helpful to have them, especially if it's a big project or the project is going to um, run over a period of time and you have a number of stakeholders. So with a project like this where I had a team that was doing the woodwork, I had another team that was doing the grounds, I had another team that was doing the kitchen, it was very important that we had drawing so everybody could look at the same document and know exactly what they needed to do and when they needed to do it. And this is where the project management bits came in, you know. So once we know that this is the plan, this is what we are trying to achieve, then we go through step by step and understand what we need to start with first and what's next. We'll talk more about that next week in next week's video. So please come back so I can explain the project management aspect of all these beautiful things that you're seeing here. What were the steps that we needed to take to be able to get us to this point? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please drop it down in the comment section. Hit the like button if you appreciate this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and you keep watching. If you watch more, more than two of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next week. Bye.